Then we need to continue. We have, um, first of all, we have the I, I, agenda item number 19. <coughs> and that is, first of all, the President's proposal. Uh, on the first position, we have already made a vote, so we continue to the next one. This is a very sensitive question. During the last couple of years, I've been at all championships, and, and on all championships, I have been approached by a lot of pilots. And that is for the program number four, and in program number four, there is written in the rules that there is a mandatory cut of 25%. And then it's a possibility for the jury to make an additional 25%, so up to 50% cut, if there is a bad weather or other circumstances that we couldn't finish the championship. So my request, my proposal to the plenary is to make the change, remove the wording mandatory but keep the possibility to make a 50% cut if the weather is not good and if there is something happening that we couldn't conclude the championship. And I just would like to say that all pilots that has approached me, they say it's absolutely no problem if there is bad weather, but we shouldn't do it if there is a good weather and we could continue to fly. So I would like to ask First of all, are there any type of questions on this change in the rules? Yes, Paolo? Do you want to stay with the jury decision or also... It's the international jury that makes the decision. Team managers? No, no. It's the international jury as written in the rules now to make the cut from 25 to 50 percent, but it will be a possibility for the international jury to do the whole up to 50 percent if there is bad weather or other, other problems. There are no questions? You have questions? No, you don't have any questions. In that case, uh, could the plenary adopt this change? Anyone? Against? Any abstentions? See by Greece. Next, please. Okay, we have the famous achievement program working group that we talked about yesterday, and it needs to be a two third majority decision in the SIVA plenary to disestablish this working group. Any questions? <coughs> In that case, could the plenary approve to disassemble this working group? Any against? Any abstentions? Siva agrees. Next. Then we come to this famous part one restructuring working group. After many years with a rule book with, uh, that is merged from advanced and unlimited, and for every year there is a lot of editorial and other changes to the rules, the idea and the proposal from me is to start a working group. It should not rewrite, it should only restructure part one. What I mean is that there are a number of places in our rules. It's talking about the same thing. Nowadays it's almost in the same wording. Before it was in different wording. To have the rules so it would be much, much easier to use. The work will be done by this working group. If you continue on. Okay, we have uh, the working group that I proposed would be headed by Mathieu. We will have Brian Howard in USA. We will have Elena Klimovic in Russia. And in South Africa, John Gayard. This will be a small working group that will take care of this and work. 
when this working group is ready, they will go to the rules and judging subcommittee. Together with them, they should cooperate and have a proposal in one year, to make a proposal in one year for the SIVA plenary 2014. Questions? Yes, LG. Are they able to, uh, this committee, co-op any other people that they might see fit? If they need, it's up to the chairman of that uh, working group if needed, but we have deliberately kept it among those people that we know is, uh, know the rules very, very well. And it's a small and tight group, and I think that would be perfect. But if you are interested to ask somebody or what you will do, that's up to you. But together with the rules and judging subcommittee, you will next year come back with a proposal. And I would really like to be updated during your work. And there was no other questions. Can then Siva agree on this one? Is there anyone that disagrees about this? Is there any abstentions? SIVA agrees. Thank you. That's a big step forward for our rule book. Next question. Oh, that was a quick one. In that case, uh, we will ask Nick Buckingham. <laughs> Good morning. Um, if you, you have a small report from the contest scoring program, if you have anything to add to that, what you have written. No, thank you. Uh, I hope you've seen the report. Uh, is it on the website? It should be, otherwise we'll be sure to get it there. Are there any type of questions for Nick about this? In that case, I would like to ask if uh, we could approve that report. No questions, nobody against, no abstention, SIVA agrees. Agenda item 19.3. And here we are voting to accept the Leon Biancotti diploma for 2013. As you know, last year we ha had Paolo Kafka that was awarded and uh, he was in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and received it from the hand of FAI President John Grubström. This year we have had only one nomination and that is for Jiri Duras in Czech Republic. Jirka Duras. And in that case, uh, it's also like this, if we are going to vote, it, you cannot vote if you have for a proxy vote, it has to be only the delegates vote that is possible here. And I would like to, first of all, if there's any questions. Yes. Uh, Mr. President, I think the uh, statutes all also require that this is a vote that's taken in a two-stage process. Uh, Rob, you can affirm if that's still the case. It is, yeah. Yes, okay, thank you. Yes, formally, you're supposed to vote whether or not you're going to give the award this year, and then secondly, you vote on the nominations. Okay. We will start then with, uh, as this is uh, one diploma that SIVA gives out, one every year, and uh, first of all, I would like to ask the plenary, could we give out a diploma for 2013? Raise your voting country panels, please. Twenty. Twenty. Against. Abstentions. Thank you. In that case, we go to step two. We have from FAI, within the time for um, sending in the proposals only received one nomination and that nomination is for Jiri Duras in Czech Republic. So uh, my uh, question to you is could we give this to the nominee that has been Jiri Duras? 
Could we raise all in favor, please raise your country panels. Raise your hands all the way up. Twenty-one. Anyone against? Abstentions? Thank you. Uh, Yiri Duras from Czech Republic has been awarded the Leon Biancotti Diploma for 2013. This diploma will be handed out at the next general conference that I think will be held in the beginning of October and it will be, if I remember correctly, in Bangkok in Thailand. Is that correct? So I will inform the winner of this.